Last year, the United States Post Office delivered over 158 billion pieces of mail. With that kind of volume, you'd expect postal workers to lose a package here or there. But what happened in Larry Parker's case prompted our taking action reporter Jackie Calloway to ask, what is going on at one local post office? Jackie. This one was unusual. When it comes to postal customers, Larry Parker does his part. He insured and certified a package shipped last January. What transpired since is more than anyone should have to endure over a lost parcel. Last year alone, the Postal Service collected over $12 billion for shipping packages. I wasn't asking for anything more than what I gave. Among their customers, Larry Parker, who shelled out $28 to ship a box north last January. Two weeks later... There's a big envelope in my mailbox. I'm like, I'm not expecting a package. What is this? The post office actually returned the cardboard lid to Larry's shipping package, and they included a note. A letter that said, your package has become undeliverable. So Larry filed a claim online, but that was rejected. The insurance number is not valid for claim. This firefighter and father of two said he exchanged multiple calls and emails with the post office from January to August. This was when I got the second uh, letter requesting um, an amount. I dealt with one, two, three, four, five people. But no one it seemed could or would approve Larry's $200 claim. Now I am getting frustrated. After eight months, he made a call for action. The post office representative called me the day that you, uh, that I emailed you. Days later, the mail carrier put this envelope in Larry's Wesley Chapel mailbox. From the United States Postal Service, $203, zero cents. In an email, a USPS spokesperson told us our investigation indicated a system error in processing this claim. We contacted the customer to advise him of a resolution to his claim. We apologized for any inconvenience he experienced. Did you ever think you would see that check? No. And now the post office tells me it takes these types of complaints seriously. So if you've had a problem with delivery or shipment, well, I've got a hotline and a link for you. I've posted it on my Facebook page. Just go to Action News Jackie, click like, you'll find it there. Or you can always email me, Jackie, at abcactionnews.com.